Hello students, how are you all? Hopefully you are having an amazing day. I am Muhammad Naeem Amin Bhatti and today we are going to discuss the novel Jane Eyre written by Charlotte Bronte. So let's have a quick look upon the biography of Charlotte Bronte and she was born of uh, Irish ancestry in 1816 and uh, she actually lived at uh, Haworth uh, personage that was and her mother was died of cancer when Charlotte was uh, five years old and after that uh, she was uh, in her uh, childhood when uh, her father who was actually uh, uh, an Anglican clergyman his name was Patrick uh, Patrick Bronte he started his clergymanship in the church and due to uh, her upbringing uh, she often wrote about the religious hypocrisy that talk about the people who are actually not what they pretend to be. Those who preach one doctrine but live by another doctrine. So if we talk about uh, the three of the Bronte sisters, Charlotte had uh, four sisters and one brother and three sisters were actually writing the piece of literary works and the other sister wasn't writing. After their mother's death, Bronte and her sisters were sent to the clergy daughter's school. Actually, there were some of the circumstances which she has to face. The food was not uh, so good and uh, the discipline was uh, harsh there and the disease was rampant. And Bronte's two older sisters, Maria and Elizabeth, died of tuberculosis. That was a very common and deadly disease at that time. That is the same disease through which John Keats was died. So tuberculosis is actually, the, here is some of the description, it attacks the lungs and uh, the person who is attacked by this uh, uh, particular type of disease is died due to the tuberculosis. So all in the family of the Bronte was uh, the clergy daughter school at the Con Bridge uh, uh, would became the model for the Lowood uh, and also the fictitious girls school in the Jane Eyre. Actually that is some type of the biography by Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte's sister Anne and Emily Bronte both become successful writers and in 1846 Charlotte and her sister started publishing the poems and began writing the novels. The professor was the Charlotte's attempt to fictionalize uh, her love for a college professor she had met in Brussels. And also in 1847, The Wuthering Heights was the uh, novel by her sister Emily. And uh, that was the Emily Bronte's first success and Charlotte found that uh, uh, her novel Jane Eyre was having the uh, and has uh, catch the attention uh, of the readers. And Charlotte brother Branwell was a gifted painter. All the pictures of the three Bronte sisters who were writer and the fourth brother there, his name was Branwell Bronte are given here. If we talk about all three Bronte sisters, they used the masculine pen names because the women writers were not taken seriously at that time in the Victorian England. And Charlotte used the name of the Curer Bell and that was actually the name which inspires her a lot and she had described her pen name in various pieces of uh, writings. Her marriage with the Bell was started in 1854 and Charlotte married her father's curate Arthur Bell Nicholas and the next year she became pregnant that and then she was ill. She died a month before her 39th birthday. And that was a, a career her uh, which inspired her a lot and uh, also she was famous due to this novel the which name is Jane Eyre so let's have a look on this novel Jane Eyre was published in London in 1847 we talk about the key facts the all the events are told in the past form that Jane's point of view the setting is early 19th century England and Jane is actually classified as both as the Gothic and the Romantic novel. So there are some of the Gothic elements which has been discussed here. We talk about the introduction of Jane Eyre is a novel by English author Charlotte Bronte from 21st April 1816 to 31st of March 1855. It was published in London, England in 1847 with the title of Jane Eyre an autobiography under the pen name of the Curator Bell. So actually the writer is Charlotte Bronte. 
So, here is uh, the timeline through which uh, Bronte's uh, life and also the life of Jane Eyre can be judged. Actually, all the circumstances are same as we can see in the Charlotte Bronte's life and also in the Jane Eyre's life. So, we can say that the Charlotte Bronte's life is actually depicted in the Jane Eyre novel. So, Jane Eyre is actually a short autobiography of uh, uh, Charlotte Bronte, the writer of our novel. Jane Eyre is uh, uh, thought to be highly autobiographical and Bronte include many of the events in the novel that paralleled her own life. And she used a masculine pen name, I have mentioned that pen name earlier. Jane Eyre is a Victorian novel that uh, chronicles a women's quest for love and search for identity. It was first published in 1847, the book became the best sellers and established a perform. A platform for the feminist writing in the 19th century. If we talk about the Jane Eyre and the Gothic plot, so the Gothic plot has some of the points and elements which are mentioned here that there is a ro dark romanticism there and the mysterious thoughts and scenes can be described in such type of novel. The haunted castles or houses are shown in it. Dreaming and nightmares, uh, the doppelganger, that alter ego, or the physical impression means like to uh, evolve the people and to uh, imprison people. Like in in this uh, particular type of novel, the Red Room has been described, where Jane's uncle was once imprisoned and then Jane was un, uh, imprisoned there. Psychological uh, entrapment and uh, also the helplessness has been described here, involvement of the supernatural thoughts and things and the psychology of horror and uh, terror has been described in the Gothic novels. So, there are three distinct parts of uh, uh, this particular novel, Jane Eyre. The very first part is uh, chapter 1 through 10 and it covers the Jane's childhood and schooling. The major character include Mr. Reed and her children, uh, Mrs. Reed, Mr. Reed and her Mr. Reed was died uh, and after that Mrs. Reed uh, had uh, her, uh, her full attention towards Jane Eyre on uh, making her upset. Her life was actually a blast by Mrs. Reed and uh, she always uh, do cruelty and injustice with uh, Jane Eyre. So, that is why Mrs. Reed's uh, uh, character is pretty much important here in, the, in this novel. Mr. Black, Black, Broccoli Hurst and uh, Helen Burns and Miss Temple, the main conflicts and incidents include the Jane's rebellion against Mrs. Reed and her friendship with uh, Helena. We talk about the second part of this uh, uh, particular novel, then uh, the chapter 11 through 27 tells us uh, how the Jane life was going on as a governess at the Thornfield Hall, where she falls in love with Mr. Rochester. Beside Jane, Mr. Rochester is the central character in this uh, section and when we will study all the summary of the novel, we will discuss uh, all the elements which Mr. Rochester has uh, in parallel with the Jane Eyre. If we talk about its third part, uh, that uh, belongs from chapter number 28 through the end of this book and centers on the Jane's life after uh, she had fled the Thornfield. The action takes place in the countryside and at the Moore's house and Moorton. And uh, the basically uh, John Rivers uh, is a person who proposes to uh, Jane Eyre but she rejects her proposals. The dramatic highlights and the part of this novel include the Jane's attempt to find the shelter her uneasy relationship with River family and her return to Mr. Rochester again. So, I think that uh, uh, if we talk about the novel goes through the five distinct stages of the plot, uh, the very first stage is Jane's childhood, the second one is her uh, education at Lovett school, the third one is her time as a governess at Thornfield. Uh, and also uh, the fourth point is her time with the Rivers family at Morton and the fifth one is her reunion with the beloved uh, Rochester at uh, his house of uh, Ferdinand. So, there is uh, personally I think that uh, enough of it to the introduction of uh, this novel and uh, the biography of uh, this novel. So, we will discuss the character analysis and summary in our next lecture. So, till the further lecture, it is goodbye from me.